High intermediate, we're going to do 8.2. We're going to be adding and subtracting rational expressions. Now, whenever you add or subtract fractions, you have to have an LCD. So let's start there. <coughs> okay, the LCD for this one is going to be x, x plus 5. Now, whenever you see something with a plus sign, these have to be kept together as a unit. So even though there's some similarities here, it's not the same thing. Um, it's like if this is a blueberry, this is like a blueberry milkshake. It's like it's it's you can think of it as being similar, but just but they're still different items. So that's why it has to be two distinct items: a blueberry and a blueberry milkshake. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up the fraction so that they each have the same denominator. So this one is missing the x plus five. So I need to give that to both sides. And the reason you give it to both sides is because x plus 5 over x plus 5 equals to 1. So I'm, I'm actually just multiplying by a very fancy 1, which doesn't change the problem. Over here, this is missing an x from the LCD. So you have whatever you give to the bottom, you have to give to the top. So it's the denominator that determines what goes to both sides. All right, now... Now what I'm going to do, since they both have the same denominator now, is I'm going to combine the numerators. The biggest mistake I see students do is that once they build up the fractions, they reduce them right away, which is wrong. You, once you build up the fractions, you want to squish them into one item. That's the whole reason you're building it up, so that you can make it two fractions into one fraction. All right, so now I'm going to distribute the 6 here. All right, now you want to keep going because you're building the new numerator. I'm going to combine like terms. Um, I'm just going to get you in the habit of factoring out anything you can. Because some of these will reduce at the very end. And you won't catch that if you don't do it. So this is actually a better answer than the previous one, but the previous one isn't necessarily wrong. Okay, so that's the final answer to the first one. All right, let's do a subtraction one. So the LCD on this guy is 3M plus 4 and M minus 9. All right, so just like before, we're going to build up the fractions. So this one's missing the m minus 9 to both sides and this one's missing the 3m plus 4 to both sides and again you do that so that you can now combine the numerator because the denominators are the same right you can only add or subtract fractions when the denominators match So I'm going to distribute the M. And you got to be careful here because this isn't just a 2. This is a negative 2. This is a negative 2. So you're distributing a negative 2 into both of these. So negative 2 times 3M, negative 6M, negative 2 times 4, negative 8. All right, now you're going to combine like terms. And at the very end, and I said this in the previous problem, you always want to check to see if the numerator factors. Okay, and in this case it does not. There's not any uh, number that multiplies to negative 8 and adds to negative 15, so this is done. But again, at the very end, you want to check if it factors, because if it factors, it may then, after that, reduce. And all fractions have to be handed in in reduced form.
All right, now this one has all the steps. So we, this is the first one I'm now showing you that's on the level of your test, okay? This is on the level of test, because really the first step for these is to factor. Let's see here, it's gonna multiply to negative 10, add to a negative nine. It's gotta be a negative 10 plus one. Here, this is a difference of perfect squares. All right, so the LCD for this guy is gonna be G plus one, G minus 10, G plus 10. Uh, you really just need a representative of each type. So if I just have one G plus G minus 10 here and one G minus 10 here, at most you need one. The, the rule, the exact rule is it's always the highest exponent. So the highest exponent is a one on these. So it would just be one here, highest exponent is one here, highest exponent is one here. So I just need whatever the highest amount is in any particular pile. You don't combine, you don't combine things to make the LCD. Like if I have, if I have two of these, I don't have two here. I just because I have at most one here, at most one here, so I need at most one in the LCD. It's like everybody just has to have um, uh, like the same amount. Okay, let me balance this end. So this needs the G plus 10. This needs the G plus 1. So again, the whole point of doing that is so now I can squish the new numerator. All right, so I'm going to distribute the 7G. Um, this is a 10. Okay, so. Distribute the positive 4. Combine like terms. Okay, and again, at the very end, I asked you to think about whether um, it factors. So this is the harder case because it's got a coefficient that is not a one. So seven times four is 28, but 28 is still too small of a number, relatively speaking, to make something as big as a 74. So this guy is done. All right, and I can see that I'm already at over seven minutes heading towards eight, so I'm gonna stop this video here and pick up in the next one. Catch you. Bye-bye.